Hello from a gorgeous spring day here in Johannesburg on the Haarfeld at the Jazz Farm. The summer rains have started and it is such a relief as um, the winter harvests come in and everything in the garden comes alive after a long cold winter. So we decided we'll just put together a little update for everybody, not really a Myrtle's rant, but just because we haven't uh, uh, been in touch via our YouTube channel for some time. So we're planning some things for the upcoming summer and top of our list at the moment is an open day here at the Jazz Farm for our Green Network members, our Dhaka Private Club project members, our affiliates, our local organizations. So if you are one of our members, uh, you will see a blog post appear in your inbox with registration details. Please register so that we know how many people are coming. And we're really looking forward to just hanging out with you. It's just going to be a casual day where we can share some of our latest harvest, where we can chat and update and answer people's questions. And that will be from 11 o'clock until 4.20 on Saturday, the 2nd of November. I'd like to also just take this opportunity to thank everybody for your awesome support. We've had quite a few new Dhaka Private Club sign-ups. If you are a Dhaka Private Club and you haven't signed up yet to get your certificate of support and best practice and get your code of conduct so that we can all be on the same page then please head over to our brand spanking new website we're still sorting out a few little glitches because you know this is a huge site with an incredible amount of resources on it so there's still maybe a few little minor glitches, but we'd really love to hear your comments. So when you get the blog post, uh, please go to the comments and tell us what you think of our, of our new website. Um, and if you have been storing up those questions and if you're wondering what's going on, uh, please be in contact. You know, you can phone us. If you are in trouble with the police, our phone lines are open 24 hours a day. If you've just got a question or a comment or a compliment, then you're welcome to phone or WhatsApp Charles during office hours or use our contact form on our, on our website. So you might be wondering what's going on in the world of South African cannabis. Well, you know, we don't really know. We've been there, we know there's been sort of meetings here and meetings there, not anything that we've been invited to, but we certainly hear what's going on in the background. But because of this, and because we've had no updates from the government in a very long time, this week we've written a letter to the steering committee. Now this steering committee on the Cannabis Master Plan, which is a project of the Office of the President of South Africa, was established in September 2023. So it is one year old and we haven't heard anything. And as major stakeholders in the cannabis sunrise sector in South Africa, we would like to know from the steering committee what is going on. So if you're subscribed to our newsletter, you will receive a blog post with that letter which you can read and we will certainly let our members and our supporters know should we get an answer from that steering committee. Coming up in November is the long-awaited Hayes Club case in Bloemfontein at the Supreme Court of Appeal. Now this is also an area where we don't really know what is going on. As we know, Fields of Green for All is amicus curiae, which means friends of the court, in this case in Bloemfontein. And we maintain that our founding affidavit as amicus curiae is the definitive legal argument for Dhaka private clubs in South Africa. Uh, if you search on our blog, Dhaka Private Clubs or the Hayes Club case, you will see there you can read our founding affidavit and this definitive legal argument. Now, there is a possibility uh, through talks between the various uh, legal teams for the government and for Neil of the Hayes Club, that there might be a settlement in the offing, which means that we don't have to go to Bloemfontein on the 19th of November, but as soon as we hear anything about the settlement, what it entails and what the implications are for the hundreds of Dhaka private clubs in South Africa, we will certainly let you know. The minute that any news lands in our inbox, we will certainly um, let you know straight away. 
uh, please make sure that you've signed up to be a member of Fields of Green for All or at least uh, subscribe to our newsletter so that you can always get the latest news in your inbox. Another thing planned for the end of the summer in March 2025 is our ASTM conference. Now you know we've been speaking about this conference since last year but we had together with our team over in America at ASTM we had a long hard look last month at this conference and the way that we were struggling to get sponsors the way that it was really really difficult uh, to coordinate things between the west coast of America and down here in South Africa with a significant time difference. We looked at our resources, we looked at the impact of this conference and we looked carefully at the theme of the conference because this is overcoming barriers to entry. That is the theme of the conference and of course this centers around quality standards because that's what ASTM is all about setting standards through their D37 committee for cannabis internationally. Now, we've already had some significant standards passed by ASTM, but here in South Africa, our cannabis environment is really, really different to that in America. And I do believe that we have far more barriers to entry. So because of this theme of our conference, we decided it would be appropriate to take our conference online. So this won't be a live event. This will be a carefully curated set of videos from our speakers that will be created into six episodes, which will then be distributed by those who book to attend the conference online. And then once you have watched the six episodes of these videos on various themes, then we will all get together and have a discussion around the theme of overcoming barriers to entry. Now, so far, ASTM have received numerous abstracts for those people wanting to speak at this video conference. And I, be, I was looking last night through the list of speakers and looked through the list of applicants. And I would really, really like to see more speaker applications from Southern Africa. So head over to our blog and search ASTM in our latest blog and there you will find a link to submit a short abstract, just 250 words, on what you would like to say about overcoming barriers to entry. Those abstracts are submitted to the ASTM committee and we will sort them out and try and include as many speakers as we possibly can on this theme. You will see that the six videos have got different themes, but they're also incredibly relevant to the South African situation because we know in our current kind of jumbled gray area of um, a crisis of illegality, as Ricky Stone called it, this is one way that we can show the world how this overcoming barriers to entry is certainly a theme that is worth exploring. So that's basically what is coming up for the, for the summer. We're hoping that we hear back from the steering committee. We're hoping that we get a flood of entries for our abstract for the ASTM conference. We're hoping that we get resolution maybe before the end of the year or in the first quarter of next year on the Hayes Club case. But the, in the meantime, here I am in the Hotbox studio, which has been revamped. Thank you to Joe and our team for repainting the hot box which is now a blank canvas and uh, we look forward to bringing you lots lots more videos from the studio so bye for now light one up for jewels and have a great week